Hey guys, Sean here, and welcome to another Halo 2 Anniversary Forge map feature. We're taking a look at a map called Alpine Pass, which was forged by Private Parts. This is easily one of the best racetracks I've ever played in any Halo game. I mean, everything about this track is just absolutely perfect. It's extremely smooth, it's got some really awesome banks on it, it's got some really awesome turns, uh, it's got some really awesome jumps, I mean, everything about this track is just great. I love it so, so much. The overall aesthetic of the track is incredible. I mean, everything looks supported for the most part. Everything feels really solid and it just looks realistic, which is my biggest gripe with a lot of other racetracks. I feel like floating tracks in the sky are great and all, but it's awesome when you can actually make them look supported or just weave in different stuff to it. I mean, the rock arcs on this map, the jumps, the trees, the terrain, everything on this map is just perfect. In just a second here, we're going to take a look at some footage of what it looks like to actually race on the track, and I'll show you just what I mean. So right off the bat, you will face a giant right turn, which is pretty easy to do. It's a pretty tame turn, considering there are some more aggressive ones. Another thing on the track is that he's weaved in a lot of terrain with uh, natural blocks. You've got wall doubles and 2x4s and stuff, and then at other times you have like bits of terrain. The implementation of terrain chunks is quite nice because they cause warranted bumps which is nice because it kind of just breaks up the track and it throws you off for a second or two. Uh, so it's nice to see that. Right here, this Helix turn is awesome. I love this turn. Now, personally, I can't take full advantage of it. I'm sure somebody who's better at driving could easily drift around that corner and uh, pass those who are more of a novice racer, I guess you would say. Uh, so the track offers a lot of different spots like that where the more experienced racers could definitely drive faster than the you know slower racer so it's not just a standard double wide where everybody's going to be able to uh, go top speed on it there's times where if you're a better racer you're going to be able to take advantage of spots where if you are not you know as good at racing you're gonna have to slow down at those points so it's really really great to see that the map kind of caters to a larger selection of people i know a lot of people really prefer single wides or rather some more the people who race more often prefer single wides because uh, they're definitely harder to race on, but at the same time this map offers a really nice platform for a group race where you don't just race alone and you, you know, you're neck and neck with somebody and since the track is not the longest track ever, you're going to see a lot of action on it when you're racing with friends. So make sure you give this one a download, it's great for both playing alone and with friends. There'll be instructions in the video description on how to download it. My name is Sean, I thank you guys all for watching and I will see you guys next time.